welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing December's bullet journal. If you're new here, hi my name is Melody and welcome to my channel, Incredibly Melody. Here I talk a lot about books and I like to bullet journal about my reading habits and my books. So without further ado, here is December's reading bullet journal. As you can see, I've already done my pencil sketching so that I can just go right in with my fine liner um, pens. And here I am on the left side of my title page making, or illustrating I guess, a gingerbread house which is actually a sugar shop so I wanted to kind of have a gingerbread house but make it a little bit different. It's not just a house but it's actually a candy store. I pulled inspiration from uh, Kathleen Lights, her nail polish brand, Lights Lacquer. They had a um, sugar shop sort of theme for their winter nail polish collection, and I totally pulled inspiration from that. And so there yeah, I made my theme all around candy, just like her theme was kind of based around candy. Um, so yeah. And here on the right side is going to be my title and my calendar for this month. I know I don't often show me sketching out my plans for these bullet journals and you just see me outlining, but um, don't look at this and think of it as a challenge. Uh, a gingerbread house is gonna be cute no matter what you do. Uh, so don't stress about that if you plan on um, recreating this theme yourself. I just looked up images or clip art images of gingerbread houses and I picked and choose, I picked and chose, <laughs> I think, from those images, some of the things that I liked just from any of them and then I kind of mashed them all together in something that was more my own and so yeah you can't really go wrong with a gingerbread house you know it's supposed to be fun looking and illustrative so don't stress about it and that is my tip to you and also I guess I did take the sugar shop font and that whole vibe I did borrow that from Kathleen Light's PR box um, just so you know I don't come up with this out of thin air I do have references and don't be scared to get references for your own bullet journals. That being said, I should also note that any font you see me drawing in these bullet journals, if it's not just my handwriting, it's probably a font that I am looking at and copying. <laughs> so I'm no calligraphy artist or anything like that. Um, I reference, um, what are they called? I reference fonts all the time. I go on a font website like Defont or whatever, and I will sample or look at different fonts and I will just copy them the best I can in bullet journals. So don't think I'm some sort of font wizard because I'm not. <laughs> If you watch carefully, I drop my marker at the top of the page <laughs> right there and it absolutely drove me bonkers. So yeah, just pointing that out in case you missed it. <laughs> I did take creative liberty in adding a snowy effect to the top of my December title to make it just seem a bit more wintry and maybe like icing as well. So um, I recommend doing that for a wintry feel. And then here I go back on the gingerbread house and I went in with a white gel pen and did all those little white details over the top and it really made it come together. And now I'm just adding some more peppermint details to the sugar shop font here. And that basically sums up the gingerbread house. And it's at this point when I decide to color the background blue because if I left it white, then there wouldn't be enough of a 
difference or it wouldn't be distinguished enough from the snowy ground and the snowy roof or the icing roof or however you think of it. So I decided to go and color it all blue with just this one blue marker I have. All right, after adding the final details to that little gingerbread man, it is on to my second spread, which is my TBR and my book's red spread. I am putting them together this month because <laughs> I really only have the goal of reading one book this month. That is it. That's the only book I care about reading, and it is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. This book is like 900 some pages, so I'm really only dedicating this month to that book, but I am going to throw in a few extra titles that I do want to get to, if at all possible, but really I only have goals for one book this month, and that is why Books Read is also getting squeezed into the same spread as TBR this month. Usually the Books Read is two whole pages, but I don't need two whole pages this month, so I'm just keeping it to one. And for this spread, it's pretty simple. I didn't really have any idea of what to do, especially on the TBR page. So I just illustrated a gingerbread man with a candy cane, a pie, and a donut. Just some sweets, you know, to further push the theme of like candies and sweets and sugar. And um, instead of star ratings this month, I am doing little peppermint swirl ratings, which I think are so cute and really, really fun to make. Um, and yeah, that pretty much is it for this page. Uh, again, I love this font that I used, but it's not something I came up with. I saw it on the font. And now I'm just going back in and coloring in the peppermint border that I wanted to make. And yeah, that's pretty much the extent of this spread. It's pretty simple. Once again, I am using a white gel pen to do the details on the gingerbread man, and that will pretty much sum up this spread. And now we're on to the third one, which is a spread that is unique to December because this spread is all about gift ideas and Christmas cards. So here on the left side is my gift ideas page, and I took this idea from Amanda Rachley, I believe she did this in last year's December bullet journal video. Um, and I just really like the idea. So every person that you want to buy gifts for has their dedicated Christmas present and you will put their names on the presents tag. And then any idea you have, you just write it in the present itself. So I just thought that was a really cute idea and I wanted to do that as well. And also an idea from Amanda Rachley's video is the cards to send page and she made it look like a letter coming out of an envelope and so I like that idea too so I wanted to do that as well. So the rest of this spread is pretty much me filling in gift ideas and then coloring in ribbons and just, you know, coloring the rest of it in. 
you'll notice that my center gift is for Spencer and he watches my videos so I can't actually write down my ideas for him so that will remain blank Spencer I know you're watching you are not getting spoiled today Behind my calligraphy, I liked to put a little bit of color just to add a little dimension and interest and some more color to the page, and I really liked that idea. Now on to my fourth and final spread, which is um, my most, like, I didn't know what I was doing here page. I knew I wanted a books I got for Christmas page on this spread, um, so that's what is on the left and it, it's left really really blank in hopes that I have a lot of books to write down there. Uh, let's see if I actually get any books for Christmas but um, that's that page and then here on the right I'm just illustrating uh, a big gingerbread man in a Santa hat. Um, I didn't really have any ideas for this page besides this and I decided that he would be reading a book and on the cover of the book, the title is How to Run, Run, Run as Fast as You Can, which I thought was cute and funny and a little joke. And besides that, it's a pretty basic spread. Um, I didn't have any wild ideas and I just wanted to keep it simple. So I added some snow to just ground the gingerbread man and then some little stars or snowflakes, however you wanna see that. And that pretty much wraps up that page. All right, time for the final flip through. You can see some extra details that I've added as I flip through one last time, like the snow and the sky on this page. And other than that, I really hope you guys liked the theme I picked this month. It was really simple and easy and fun and you know, you can't really mess it up. Um, you can see the colors I used throughout all my spreads. They're on the right. I wanted to leave those out in case you wanted a reference for the colors I used. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe got some inspiration or ideas for your own bullet journal, even though this video is going up super late. <laughs> Regardless, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys, happy holidays.